In today's video, secretly, we are going to investigate some of the new AI features that has been offered by Figma. Now, if you haven't noticed, if you go on this star over here, actions, you can see over here, here are a few I have used boost resolution. So if you go um, in this menu, you can see remove background, edit image, make an image, rename layers, uh, replace content, search with image or selection, first draft, add directions, copy, rewriting, short and translate to. These are really helpful if you want to, to change some of the content over here or something like that. So I'm in this video, I'm going to, um, you know, test them out. I have used uh, most of the time clients send me images uh, that doesn't have the shoulders or uh, just the half cut picture of them. Sometimes the resolution is very poor. So these kind of things. So we are going to test these and see if some miracle can happen with AI. So let's get started. So here I have an image of my client. So uh, sometimes they also send me some of the, you know, images like these. Press K and improve the resolution. Let's make it 500. So you can see it is a bit pixelated. So let's try to use this boost resolution and see if it makes some difference. Okay, so pretty, pretty nice. So you can see even on this 100%, it is really good. Even on 200% enlargement, it is really good. So I have used this, uh, you know, uh, this feature of boost resolution and it is really, really good. Now let's see if remove background is going to work and I'm going to use a little complex picture over here. For example, this one. This one really messed up most of our AI background remover tools and let's see and put it onto the test, remove background. I, I'm, I'm sure it is not going to work perfectly because there are a lot of green shades over here in the shirts of these uh, you know people over here professionals and also we have a lot of green background like uh, trees and everything on the background so let's see if it can remove it perfectly oh it it did a very very good job and uh, some of the things are still there like you can see here we have some of the shadows here we again have some of the shadows but did a pretty, pretty good job. Here you can see some of the bars. Uh, other than that, it did a pretty good job, I would say. So for simple images like this, I think it can easily remove the background. Anyhow, it did a good job. I would give it like eight out of 10 or nine out of 10 for this removal. Let's see if it can edit this image. So I'm going to click on edit image. Can you extend? So let's see if it works and it extends it and have the shoulders. Oh no, this is not good. It actually changed the face of this person. I, I really did, didn't want to change the face. Extend the width of image. Let's use the, oh, it already changed the, the face. I really hate that. Now I did the same thing in Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Photoshop version was the perfect i'm going to share with you the samples of adobe photoshop and right now i have tried few of the you know you can see over here these are the shoulders i generated with adobe photoshop they are really really perfect this is the one i got from my client this is the one uh, photoshop produced this is the one we get from the photoshop uh, and this is the one we used, uh, I think, some AI tool, uh, online AI tool, maybe chat GPT, but it, it changes the face of this person. This is what I did with Photoshop. And I would say this is really, really impressive. Only thing was that it had a very big hand over here, which I further replaced with open art. So open art image over here. So this is my story of, you know, having this okay so this is really uh, frustrating for me and let's see if we have the image let's give it one more chance and see if it it is actually going to produce the 
rest of the shoulders and arms. Again, you can see even if I have extended the handle, it is showing me a different person over here. So I'm going to go back and let's give it additional feedback. Let's try to use make an image. Okay. So I'm going to say Let's see how it actually ends. Okay, so it is again using this image boundary. Let's see if it is going to generate something special in this space. In the meanwhile, I'm going to sh uh, ask you a question. Have you ever used any of the new AI features of Figma? Let's zoom into, into it. Let me, let me see, let me see. Okay, this is good. This is really, really good and uh, i would rate it like eight out of ten they really look ai so you can see these are real people these are this is ai generated image they will mostly they are very rare you know images that actually look like real people but still i think it is good we can um, use it in our designs let's try to where's that rename layers it is trying to read them and rewriting their layer names. Like you can see, it says reviews. I think before that, it says badge text. I think it actually did a good job on renaming my layers. Let's try to see if it can rename layers in this section. Let's try to rename these layers and see what it is going to do with them. Okay, so it says it doesn't need renaming because I have already renamed them. Anyhow, I think it, it did a good job. I'm not sure what it actually did. And it actually tries to read some of my, you know, um, some of my text over here and then rename them. This is a good way, but I think um, uh, it might not work in some instances or it should be very clever to rename everything like that. Anyhow, so let's test something more. Let's use rewrite this. So I'm going to select this text over here. Message from my, uh, from our president and I'm going to use rewrite with AI. Rewrite this. Uh, let's say make it more i'm not sure it <laughs> this text is a making him a superhero <laughs> is ensure justice for all taxpayers anyhow um good one good one in the spirit of our founding fathers this is a bit you know kind of like a superhero movie who championed life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. <laughs> I didn't like it much. <laughs> this is this is kind of like changing the serious text, keeping with our founding fathers. Um, I think it was a bit more dramatic when it actually translated it. So let's try to, um, just let's try to use it once more, give it more bit of chance. Uh, more let's say uh, make it more shorter this one is good this one is good I think we can use it in some instances but most of the time copy is done by copywriters or maybe search engine optimizers or search engine people anyhow this is good this is good okay so you we can shorten we can also translate to let's try to translate it to something like uh, do we have Urdu over here? So let's try to translate it to Urdu. Okay, this is good. This is really, really good. This is a very, very great thing over here. I think it really translated it very well in my own native language. Okay, so these are few things over here. I'm not going to explore all of them because I think they will, you know, it will take a lot of time maybe or uh, let's try to replace content or maybe choose uh, this replace content. So replace content, uh, get an 
image let's see how it actually ends up can it replace it with the actual map because this one is fake we just you know this is a placeholder holder for the actual uh, it is not an actual address or map so let's see if it can you know okay so what is happening it didn't do anything i guess it just you know local and toll free i'm not sure what it did it it failed me actually let's try to use it over here first draft busy gap app wireframe um i think i would use it on a new file let's use a new file over here now i am going to use this first draft so let's use this first draft and i'm going to go with app wireframe profile for every member let's see what it does i actually i i think there should be at least five or six screens it actually did everything in just one screen this is not good i think i should have said that we need at least few sc different screens it, it just did everything in one screen so it says uh login sign up features um although it did some good things over here like i really like this section community kitchen green bites global eats uh this is not very relevant home search donate profile good good enough but i <laughs> i still think that um optional email find free food donate food profile so good very basic community kitchen free okay so it, it actually i think it actually focused it on more of the you know donation side of different restaurants maybe so uh good let's try to make a uh, an app with it a food recipe app advanced search with and let's try to see if it actually does the magic and it creates different screens rather than just creating one screen like we just had in this one so healthy recipe nutrition chef okay so this is very strange what is happening it is actually creating everything in one screen so i think this is good for some ideation it has some you know themes over here and i have seen these kind of themes online i think it is trying to copy copy some websites or some health, health recipe apps but still i think it is just doing a very very basic job uh maybe good for ideation not even good for ideation i would go for mobin.com for inspiration or actual apps this is really really uh let's try to find health uh and it's trying to find food food panda food and drink and uh, too good to go um food recipe kitchen stories could be good okay so this is this is very close to what we are looking for and you can see it already has the same colors like we got over here but still uh, it, it is doing a very basic job uh, but right now i don't think that this is very alarming or very like ringing bells for ui or ux designers some of the features are still in beta so uh, find more like food recipe anyhow i really like translate to i really like uh, first draft maybe just for creating wireframes maybe maybe uh, make an image was okay rename layers was okay -ish. boost resolution was very good remove background was really really good and i haven't tried these uh, you know search with image or selection 
find more like so it, it is bringing me into my own components and you can also go to community to find similar images like this one this is good this is good i can find different icons i think this is good for today's uh, ai test of uh, figma's different new beta, beta tools i hope you have enjoyed this video if you have any uh, comments or any suggestions i would really love to hear them let's move on and learn something new right now i'm amazed by some of the features they are really really helpful in my workflow as a designer but some of them are a bit you know kind of uh, still in beta and i am not going to say much more about them i'm a little, little bit disappointed uh, i will meet you in another video till then take care Bye-bye.